Hi everybody, I thought I would show you all really quickly how to kind of um, get your homerooms in order here on Destiny and make sure that your teachers are all in there correctly because when we synced up with Skyward it made some really funny changes in their homerooms and so if you want to clean that up you certainly can um, but you don't have to add homerooms but I think it does make it easier later on when you're trying to print reports it makes it easier to sort of have one teacher that they go to or whatever the case may be so I'm gonna I'm already logged in so I'm gonna go to South the first thing that you need to make sure is um, you need to make sure that all of your teachers are actually in the system I know that a lot of mine didn't transfer over for whatever reason some did and some didn't and so I did have to go to the back office uh, manage patrons and then you just want to search to see if you are in there and you can see I've got two accounts actually in mine right now so you your teachers may come up as an old account really it doesn't matter the faculty doesn't matter as much as long as they're there and um, so if you can't find your teachers make sure and add them in go to new patron over here add all their information in I did not give them a username and password for some reason it keeps trying to make me do that one and uh, make sure you change their type to like faculty and a teacher okay that way later on when you're trying to do things it'll they'll all kind of be similar so first of all first and foremost make sure all of your teachers are in the system and then what you're gonna need to do is manage your home rooms so that's a tab down here over to the left so when I click on that you can see all of the home rooms that I have oh sorry um, so far but this is not what mine look like uh, when it synced with Skyward I had a lot of numbers because they were assigning instead of teachers names it was assigning what room number they are in so I actually cleaned all of that up and the best way for me to do that was to actually go in and delete all of the existing classrooms that were showing up in the system because mine were so messed up if yours are pretty good uh, as they are but they have numbers instead of names if you can deal with that then that's fine if it doesn't bother you that's fine but mine were I had like five kids in one class and two kids in another class so I just had to start from scratch some of you may not even have any current homerooms listed at all and if that's the case then you're just starting from scratch too so the way that you add a homeroom is to go up here and add them um, I'll just call this one test save it and then you'll see it down here you do want to click um, over here on edit to assign an actual teacher to that class so if I click on the edit button it's gonna bring up the class that I'm talking about and it's gonna ask you who the supervisor will be so I'm going to click select it takes you to this screen uh, that you can type in a patron so I'm just going to make myself so I'll just choose this first one and select now it's going to double check with you do you want Abby Moore as the supervisor for this test classroom and then you click save so you can see here there's my classroom it has my email because I had an email already listed in there you can put emails in with your teacher accounts and I think eventually we could use that feature so that the teachers get emailed reports but I don't think that it's set up quite yet but you could go ahead and do the front work and that way it could be ready later on these are all of my teachers right now at South and I put them in individually and now they're all ready to go um, but you need to actually get the kids into the class so next what you're going to do is go over to update patrons you are going to click list of patrons based on list of patrons then you're going to do change homeroom 
let it update to, and then whichever class you're looking at at the moment. So you need your class rosters. So I'm just going to keep working with my test. So what it's going to do is all the students that we're about to look up, it's going to change their homeroom to test. So I'm going to start right here. It says find patron records with I just start typing in their last name or their first name. I'm going to use my nephew as an example. His That's Evan. So Evan's name pops up. You go over here and click select. It's going to put him, start putting him down here in this list. Um, let's add some more folks here. Um, well, that doesn't help. I didn't spell his name right. Let's do Zade. There he is. Okay, so if I wanted to add Zade to my class, I'm going to click select. Let's do Woodward. If I wanted to add both of these kids, I could click select, select. And you can see how they are coming up in this list. Now once you get all of your kids listed for that class, all you have to do is click update and it's going to assign them to that class. Now just as a little tip, it will assign a child to more than one class. So just make sure that you're aware of that. Uh, it's going to bring you back to this job listing and to view it you're going to need to hit this button that says refresh list and then you can view, you don't have to view it, but you can view it just to make sure. It says it changed the homeroom to test. Now what that means is whenever you uh, go to check out books, so let's go to circulation, you can check out by homeroom if you would like to, then those kids should show up under my name. And that's going to be very helpful later on in reports and I'm about to do another video about how to run a homeroom report um, in case your teachers need it when they leave the library. They like to see the checkouts from the students, then I'll show you how to run a report. But for right now, that's how to manage your homerooms. Y'all please let me know if you have any questions about that.